Okay, so I'm Andre. I'm a solution engineer at PDFtron. I'm going to explain both of those terms, what they mean. Uh, we're based out of Vancouver, Canada. So thanks so much to Cactus Force for hosting us here. And, you know, in comparison to Canada, Arizona is super warm. So I'm really enjoying it. Um, don't want to go back. Uh, anyways, so uh, what is PDFtron? PDFtron, well, first of all, it's a cool name. A lot of you at the booth were like, whoa, PDF Tron. Uh, so we started around uh, 20 years ago when the Tron was cool. Um, and then pretty much you can think of us that we do everything and anything uh, with PDFs. We started right around the same time as a PDF specification happened. So then we built out our own rendering engine and started providing software development kits to developers across all the platforms uh, to edit, manipulate, render PDFs to customers, and now we're venturing into other formats, um, 35 different formats. Oh, my computer went to sleep, uh, and it's waking back up. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, 35 different formats, including MS Office documents um, and CAD and images. Now, PDFs are kind of sometimes pretty tricky to work with. Uh, so what happens in a lot of, you know, like Salesforce, we have a whole bunch of PDF documents that users are working with, but unfortunately, they're kind of forced to go outside of Salesforce application. Uh, they're forced to download it or open a new tab. Then, you know, PDF format, kind of painful to edit or manipulate, so they have to have a tool like Adobe Reader, and then they re-upload back in, creates a new version, kind of the whole process gets messy. So we identified that, and then we created a Lightning Web component that goes and plugs and play directly into the Salesforce. So you can bring up you know, your PDFs, your MS Office documents, right inside this uh, component, and then customize the whole process specifically tailored to your customers and your users. So you can implement pretty much anything uh, when it comes to WebViewer. So the UI is highly customizable. Uh, so we can kind of disable features like downloading and printing of a PDF, disable text selection, as well only provide our users with uh, the tools they need. So for example, if we're kind of building like a signature workflow for our users, kind of like DocuSign, DocuSign actually uses us uh, for applying digital signatures on PDF documents. So if you use DocuSign, you use PDFtron. Now, for example, here, you know, I can place my signature anywhere. And the UI is super simple and very clear to users to understand what's going on. And all of that can be customized by you. And really, it's kind of tailored towards developers and architects because it's not just a ready-to-go app. It does require some customization specifically for your user uh, workflow. Uh, so you can also protect the content that you're working with and dynamically place the watermarks on the PDF pages. Uh, perhaps maybe with a username to prevent them from screenshotting the sensitive nature of the documents. Uh, and then you can provide your users with rich annotation capabilities, like drawing on top of it freehand, highlighting text, um, creating measurement tools. This is really popular in our uh, architecture and engineering. Uh, so software that, you know, I need to measure distances on a PDF document, if it's a blueprint, I can create them. And then, really cool part about it, to make the whole uh, experience interactive, we can actually start to go ahead and comment on the document to say, hey, please uh, change the text to this, or, you know, assign uh, the task to the next person. So if that kind of happening right on the document, and then we can save all of that back to the Salesforce, right? And then, you know, we can save it as a new version of PDF with annotation merged into it. Or what we could do is just save all that annotation data separately into our database uh, and go from there. And then we can open documents from pretty much anywhere, whether it's Salesforce or REST APIs uh, to pull from others. Um, so we also do extensive kind of form building and form filling support. Uh, so, for example, here, you know, I have a PDF uh, document in front of me. Uh, what I want to do, this is a sales and purchase agreement, kind of like a legal document. And what I want to do, I kind of want to place a signature uh, boxes on top of the document. Um, I can manipulate multiple properties on that field, um, as well as I can drop a text box as well. So then when I'm kind of done with positioning, so we just took a scanned document that previously wasn't a form 
and turning into an actual acro form that can be filled. So after when we're ready to kind of create them, we can now uh, send it out to our users uh, for signing purposes and they can just quickly reuse their existing signature or put a new signature on. And all of that kind of interaction, you can control the whole process. There's lots of events exposed to you kind of seeing what happens, when does it happen. You can provide additional validation to check whether or not the user has signed uh, the document. Okay. Uh, and then same thing with page manipulation. A lot of the times when we do get the documents in, uh, they could be coming in, you know, there's multiple pages, maybe we need to rotate them. Uh, so all of that is available to us. We can manipulate the document straight inside the browser, inside that Lightning Web component, and then save it back as a new version. And the technology is purely client-side. It doesn't require any server-side dependencies, so you don't have to worry about your document privacy or security going out to servers that you don't know. Okay? And then, for example, in some of our advanced uh, samples, we have redaction, where let's say we have very sensitive information, like possibly the company name and the amount. What we could do is just kind of pre-determine some of the fields that need to be redacted ahead of the time, and then we can just kind of apply it all at once and burn in the reductions. Cool? Am I running out of time? 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, so just to kind of wrap it up, this is just, you know, a tip of the iceberg of with you. We do definitely way, way more. So if, you, if this interests you, I do have a booth out there. So for all your questions, please go ahead and visit me. Thank you.